Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample, and welcome to part 10 of my Q&A video series. As you can see, I got lots of requests since the last Q&A video to do a part 10, but I'm gonna change things up a little bit here. All the other ones before this were mostly about baseball, with some random questions sprinkled in, but this Q&A video is all about this thing right here, my rubber band ball. Been getting lots of questions about it over the years and I've gathered them all up into one video for you. And let's get started with a question that I think a lot of people are wondering about. How much does the rubber band ball weigh? All right, so it currently, as of this moment, weighs 303 pounds, which is about 137 kilograms. Who made the rubber band ball? When did you start your rubber band ball? All right, I got a few questions similar to this. How long have you been making a rubber band ball for? A couple people asking how long did it take? And the answer is that when I was four years old, my mom helped me get this thing started. So I've been working on it for more than three decades. Did you really start when you were four? Yeah, I really started when I was four. You think I'm making this up? Come on. How strong is the ball? I'd say it's pretty strong, wouldn't you agree? Zach, what is inside your huge rubber band ball? Rubber bands? What is in the middle of your rubber band ball? Oh, in the very middle, you mean other than rubber bands? Well, I'll tell you, uh, just rubber bands. You know, I feel that if you have a rubber band ball and you have anything else in the middle except a rubber band, like a golf ball or a ping pong ball or a rock or a, a cantaloupe, I feel like that's a fraudulent ball. It has to be rubber bands all the way through, no exceptions. Hey Zach, I am a boy from Argentina. I play baseball and I had one question, how the rubber band ball started? You know, that's a good question and I'm gonna answer by actually showing you. So check this out. I would recommend starting with a thick-ish rubber band like that. And what you want to do, if you can get a, a nice look at this, is fold it over a couple of times so it looks something like that. Just you, you bunch it up, basically, all right? Then you take a smaller, thinner band, all right? And you just start to wrap it around your folded up band if you can see what this is starting to look like. I know it's a little bit blurry if I hold it too close to the camera, but as you can see, maybe, hopefully, that is what the inside of a rubber band ball could and perhaps should look like. I will take a photo of this and I will link to it in the description below this video and I'm gonna throw some other links there as well, so definitely check that out. Do you use the rubber band ball as a chair? Of course I do, it's very comfortable to sit on. Sometimes I use it as a footrest. Sometimes I use it as a ladder. Sometimes I use it for emotional support. So it's really a useful object to have around the house. Where did you get all the rubber bands? Asks Nolan, AKA Juicy Fart, and you spelled juicy wrong. But anyway, the bands are much bigger than anything that you might find in a normal store. So I have to specially order them. So the tan rubber bands, which you can see right here, are 12 inches if you just dangle them. And I get these from a company in Pennsylvania that basically specializes in industrial strength office supplies. Minimum order is 25 pounds, just FYI. And then I get these colored bands. There's red, green, and blue. And the red bands are 12 inches green are 14 and the blue ones are 17 huge bands i get these from a very tiny distributor downtown in new york city i don't even know where they get them from but they just have huge boxes of them you grab a handful throw them on a scale they charge me and i'm on my merry way so that's pretty much what i have to do to get the rubber bands how much did all the rubber bands together cost for the whole ball i'm not sure but think of it this way if I spent $5 per pound, and you multiply that by 303 pounds, that's more than $1,500. And it's possible I've spent more than 2,000. So I would say somewhere in that range, which is, it sounds like a lot of money, right? But if you think about the number of years and decades 
that that money would be spread out over, it's actually not too bad. Has anyone ever eaten your rubber band ball? No, and on the contrary, the rubber band ball has eaten several people over the years, so you better watch yourself. Do you know how many rubber bands are on your rubber band ball? Okay, so if you look at the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna flip through several other comments where people basically ask the same thing. I wish I knew the answer to that, but I kind of am glad that I don't, because if I counted, it would drive me completely crazy. Again, doing the math, number of bands per pound, multiplying it, I think it's gotta be between 50,000 and 100,000, I don't know, maybe 75,000. There's no way to know, but definitely tens of thousands of bands. Zach, are you more proud of your rubber band ball or your baseball collection? Definitely the collection. I've spent a lot more time, money, energy on that over the years, and I think that's way cooler. I mean, the rubber band ball is cool, let's be real about it, but the baseball collection is like next level. Is it harder to put a pound on the rubber band ball or catch 10 balls at a game? Interesting. I'm gonna go with catching 10 balls at a game because if I decide to put a pound on the ball, there is a 100% guarantee that I'll be able to do that. But I can't just snap my fingers and be assured of, of hitting double digits at a major league stadium, you know? So definitely catching 10 balls is the bigger challenge. Can you attempt to pick up your rubber band ball in Q&A part 10? Yeah, I can attempt it all day, but it ain't gonna happen. How many people does it take to lift the rubber band ball? I'm gonna answer this question by showing you a video clip from something that I filmed not too long ago when I actually took the rubber band ball out to Central Park just to have some fun with it. So, check this out. <laughs> As you saw right there, it took four young guys all of their strength to barely lift it, what, like about a foot off the ground? So it's pretty tough to get that thing in the air. Does it bounce? asks some guy. I will answer that by playing the end of that video clip. Here you go. So yes, the ball does bounce extremely well as long as it's on a very hard surface. And okay, here's something else that I'll link to in the description below this video. Several years ago, I took the rubber band ball on a little road trip with some friends up to Canada for it to appear on a TV show on the Discovery Channel. And among other things, they hoisted the ball with a forklift about eight feet in the air to see basically how high it would bounce. So look for that in the description. You can watch that video. I wrote a whole blog entry about the journey to Canada with the ball, lots of photos and info. So again, check the description, lots of links there for your viewing and reading pleasure. What would happen if you dropped the rubber band ball off of the Empire State Building? Alex, I think we would probably see destruction on a global scale, kind of like that asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. That's my theory. Hey, Zach Hample, quick question. This coming from Twitter. How do you expand rubber bands enough to fit over your huge rubber band ball? Don't they break? I'm gonna answer this by actually showing you. So check out a green band right here. What I basically do is pre-stretch it a little bit. And it's like exercising. You know, you don't wanna go from nothing to running full speed. You'll tear a muscle and in this case, uh, you might snap the rubber band. So pre-stretch it a little bit. And then what I do is I take some safety goggles, put them on. I know that's a very sexy look, right? But in all seriousness, one time years ago, I was putting bands on the ball and a band snapped and hit me in the face right below the eye. And from that point on, I decided to use safety goggles. So check this out. Roll this a little bit closer and just take the band. You can see it, it easily stretches wider than the ball is. And I just yank it around the middle and then make sure that it is in fact straight around the center of the ball. 
I get out any twists in the band because that doesn't look pretty if it's all twisted up. And that's pretty much how I stretch a band and get it over the ball. So hope that answered your question. Wouldn't the bands lose elasticity after a while? I have a bunch of bands at home that are cracked and lost their elasticity. How do they stay together for that long? Another good question. You've probably noticed that if you have old bands, if you try to stretch them, they'll, they'll break like it's nothing. So one of the challenges with this ball, it's kind of like I got to keep feeding the beast. You know, the outside layer will start to deteriorate over time unless I keep adding fresh bands to it. So that's what I have to do. How often do you add a rubber band to the ball? Okay, so the tan rubber bands come in one pound bags, and I have one to show you right here. You can see that's what they look like. And on the back, there's a little label in there with some more info. So one pound of bands, kind of looks like pasta, right? Someone get me some tomato sauce. I try to add one pound of bands to the ball per month. I try to do it in one session rather than spread out over several days or a week. And it takes about an hour. I'll take out a few tan bands, I'll swap in a few of the colored ones to give it that nice multicolored variety. So that's it, not a huge time commitment. Can I have your rubber band ball, please? Let me think about that. No, how much you want for it? <laughs> Ethan Ratliff, thank you for asking. Unfortunately, the rubber band ball is not for sale. Baseballs are great, but I think your big rubber band ball deserves more time in the spotlight. Does it have a name? If not, I suggest Baldo. Amanda, that is a great suggestion. Thank you. And no, it does not have a name. No one has even suggested naming it before. I don't think I want it to officially have a name, but as far as an unofficial nickname goes, Baldo is outstanding. So thank you for that. Oh man, I gotta stand up for this one so you can actually see my face. All right, for next Q&A vid, suppose you meet a nice young woman and you're really infatuated with her. You see where this is going? She's over at your place and things are starting to get steamy. She reveals her fetish of being whapped by broken rubber bands. And you know what? I'm taking that question off the screen. If you guys wanna read the whole thing, you can rewind this video, you can find it, you can pause it, take another look. I read the whole question and I guess I would answer it by channeling my inner meatloaf. You know that musician who famously sang, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm gonna go with for my answer. Um, whoever you are who asked that question, you are weird, man, you are weird. I like it. Zach, is that rubber band ball gonna fit through the door if you decide to move? That is actually a great question and something that I think about often. The rubber band ball has a diameter of about 26 inches, which is about 66 centimeters. Now I have about this much more space between the edge of the ball and my door frame. And it would actually take a lot more weight to add this much to the diameter. So I have many years before it will actually become an issue, but it is something I'm thinking about. I don't know, man, I'm living for the moment. I can't worry about the future. When do you think you'll stop adding bands? You know, a lot of people ask me that about the baseballs and my answer is, I don't know, man, we'll see. It's just a fun thing for right now. I don't see why I would need to stop. So hopefully I'll be working on the rubber band ball right up until the day that I die and then maybe an additional week after that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's actually the last question that I have for this video. So start leaving some comments for the next one. Get your questions in. We'll definitely do more baseball stuff, but I really hope you enjoyed this one-time video about the rubber band ball. Thanks for watching.